Are you ready? Yeah, I think you can tell us what to do. Doom, doom. Think you can tell us what to wear. Doom, doom. You think that you're better. Doom, doom. Well, you better get ready. Doom, doom. Bow to the masters. Doom, doom. Break it down. Doom, doom, doom. I don't know the words, so I'll just make some shit all right now. I'm gonna stab you. Yeah, that's a breaks little man. Here comes the money. Remix, remix. Money talks. Here comes the jippo. That's going in. <laughs> <laughs> so he's back, going for the buzzing of the the, the Wefker. Yeah, Let's yeah. make sure it's all lined up. Yeah. <clears throat> Albert Wesker. Oh, I can't see what that age is. Thirty-eight. Oh yeah. So I'm I'm making tw uh, over twice Becky's age. Mm. <laughs> Chris is like twenty-five, and Jill's twenty-two, I think. Wait, Jill doesn't look 22, does she? No. You think she'd be 25 and Chris would be like 27? You should swap it. Swap it so Chris is oh, younger. Yeah, <laughs> yeah never mind. Make Chris 22. It, yeah, because be, then it'd be me. I'm the same age as 22. I'm 22. Oh, I think by the time like, Resident Evil 6, Chris... Oh, see, that's like 15 years on, I think. Mm. Yeah, so Chris, so Chris is like... Yeah, Chris is like 40 or something. Jesus. And Jill's not in that one. It's like, these, why? These experience then. <laughs> Less experience. Okay. So I'm going to take Barry's gun because it's the best. I like how the sounds come out of here. Especially, yeah. especially cool, you know, it has the uh, the uh, revolver, the, the the thing where they put I the bullets know. in the chamber and that. When it has that turning. You got the best one there. Fingers of death. Reaching out for me. However, he died. He's back. He's back from the dead. Yeah, basically, you might not notice it, but in uh, episode three of uh, the Resident Evil One portion, Wesker was injected himself with this virus. Now, apparently, this virus is super amazing. And basically, I don't know how he found that because the tyrant's clearly not not. He's dead on the roof, not here. But basically, William Birkin, who saw with Wesker the Resident Evil Zero portion, he uh, gave he gave Wesker this virus that apparently. You inject yourself like five minutes before you die. And then when you die, you have a 70% chance of coming back enhanced. 20% chance of just coming back normal and 10% chance of not coming back at all. I'm thinking, would it make way more sense, 70% chance of not coming back and just 10% chance of actually returning? Mm. That way you could look at it and say, that shows how dedicated Wesker is to his plan. It's like, if I cannot uh, master death, then there is no point in continuing. No, that like he's willing to risk it. He's willing to risk that much. But now, the Red Queen is, is, is an AI they created for the movies. And they said, let's put, let's put her in this. It's like, the movies are fucking terrible. Don't watch them. Smash a computer. Yeah. So Wesker wants all this information. And then his eyes turn red. And they stay that way. Fuming. Oh, they don't stay that way. But they are, they are, they are that way in um, time, to change the plan. time sometimes. To secure my escape. So basically, he's trying, he's trying to get this information and leave Umbrella. Even though he's always worked for, he's worked for Umbrella his whole life, pretty much. Like, like, he, 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 like um, he, he, remember how he and uh, William Birkin killed fucking the uh, the Leech Man? Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you remember these details, but yeah. So, uh, then again, have you, have you watched the episode since recording? Since, yeah, yeah, exactly. I've, I've watched them. Ah, so, that's, uh, so you've basically gone through each thing twice, good. Yeah, because, um, I don't know how, how we've done and stuff, and... If we sound alright, and yeah. there's anything we talked about that we shouldn't have done. <laughs> yeah. Anything that's going to come back and bite us in the ass. Yeah, exactly. Which you probably will in the future, but that's life. Oh. Something's always going to come back and bite you in the ass. Yeah. No matter what At you these, say. I, I, these motherfuckers are always coming back and biting me in the bum hole. Yeah, because they're right in knobs. Uh, I don't want a knob biting me in the bum hole. Exactly. Who's got. Oh. <laughs> It's all right, lads. Take this, you fiend. Oh, shit, no. I'll wait till you've killed him. Oh, there we go. You were going to tell a story, weren't you, in this one? Yeah. Um, we just recorded a, a video relating to the Hour Chronicles. This, it'll, that'll probably have gone up, like, ages before this does. Yeah. 
considering the fact we've all, like, just today we've also recorded five episodes before this. Yeah. So that that'll take like ten days to get up. Yeah. Even, even not just from now, but but basically it was. Um, <laughs> Somehow, after the thing, after we finished the video, we started continuing the conversation, and I, it, was, it was such a funny little story, but well, kind of funny. I thought I'd, I'd rather just record myself talking about it instead of just talking about it. Uh, we were talking about this uh, <clears throat> guy in our year called called Kurt, and basically Kurt, when when I, when we were like when year somewhere between year three and six, I sat next to him at dinner time. And oh, it's not even a quick time event. Oh, now it's a quick time event. Concentrate on this then before you say story. There you go. Take this. That's what that's what Wes, that's, that's what Wes is, uh, used to do as his uh, special. Shake off move. What amazing power. Yeah. So basically, uh, there was this one guy in our year called Kurt, and once I sat next to him at dinner time, just it just turned out that way. And because um, you do that then in them days, sit next yeah. to anyone really. Yeah, because as, as kids, uh, you're not, you're not as, I guess kids are more selfish, but you're not as big an asshole. Mm. But basically what happened was, uh, I sat next to Kurt, uh, I'll go through, hopefully a bit of some supplies, like a, a uh, boom. Straight away. Oh, sh fuck you, that's not fair. So basically, uh, uh, fuck off. <laughs> so basically, fuck off. Yeah, so I sat, so I sat, I sat next to Kurt. Oh, going this way was the right choice, weren't it? Oh shit! So, 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 so sat next to Kurt, and <laughs> not five times now. I know. <laughs> but so, so, so I sat next to him, and like we actually, we actually, um, because when you're a kid, pretty much any swearing, you think, oh, that's fucking cool. You don't think that's fucking cool, but you think that's cool that. Mm. Yeah, and, I mean. Yeah. Cause, Cause we're like we're less than ten years old, so mm. uh, and Kurt like just just like whispering to me here. I can't. I think we're, we're, I think we're actually talking about something. And he whisp and he whispered that something was fucking shit. And I was like, wow, he's like the coolest guy ever. <laughs> Cause that's how you think of the kid, isn't it? You, just, you think that like, I, any like, it's, it's the kind of thing that the things that the adults don't want you to know. If yeah. someone knows that. They are the coolest motherfucker. Yeah. How how did he get this information? How did he know the word? How how did he know the words fuck and the word shit? And also, how do he know to combine them into fucking yeah. shit? That is one sentence. How do you combine those into a single phrase? That th th this guy knows his stuff. He's like the coolest guy ever. Yeah. I know what you mean. He's, 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 nobody knows it at that age, but one person, and that one person spreads it through the school, and you're like, he must be the coolest kid to know yeah. that straight away. And then when you get to like. Uh, high school is one person spreading AIDS through the school. Mm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Chris. Chris, Jill. And Nit. See, he, he said Chris first. Yeah, Nits. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's what, that's what, I'm, that's what I've been fighting, isn't it? There, there's one. A giant Nit. Basically, Nits are what are lice. Do people still use the word Nits? I'm not sure, you know. And was it ever like a, like a, a nationwide thing, or was it just like situated within our school? I think it was a, a world, a, a wide thing, worldwide thing. Not worldwide, but co yeah. nationwide rather. Yeah, nationwide, not a worldwide. We can't imagine Americans going, "Holy shit, he's got nits, man!" Hey, you never know. Probably do you know when I said that? Yeah, or or, or, or when if if I have enough, get enough people watching my stuff, and then um, I get popular enough, and then years down the line, people come back to this and it starts a trend. Holy shit, you got fucking nits, man! If you get one American <coughs> saying it now, you've done well. Just one. Change the world. Change the world. All you need is one American to say it. <laughs> That's it then. Everyone will say it. This is an interesting thing. That's Lisa Trevor. What in the world? Basically, there was a subplot in the original Resident Evil that got that didn't make it into the final game, involving uh, George Trevor, the guy who, who designed the mansion. Ah, <laughs> dies. So basically, uh, George Trevor designed the mansion uh, for Umbrella's founder, Oswell E. Spencer. Hence it's called Spencer Mansion. And he basically got trapped inside by Spencer in order to kill him. So no one would ever know. The plan. I better secure my escape. Uh, deal with so no one, no one would ever know, this, know, know, this, know his secrets and that. And basically, what happened then was, uh, when if, once he's, uh, he's secured... After he killed, you know, he killed George Trevor, but not only that, he also had Trevor's uh, wife and daughter, Doctor, to be experimented on. 
and uh, they use a, a virus called a progenitor virus, which is like the first virus that all the rest come from. And they experimented on uh, on on George Trevor's wife and daughter, his daughter Lisa, actually took the virus quite well. She lost her mind, but she she her body accepted the virus, and uh, her mother though didn't make it, and so. What Lisa does now, she is, she's rips off her mother's face and carries it with her. Nice. And basically, because they, they restored the uh, George Trevor subplot in the uh, the remake, and also added Lisa Trevor as another little thing. Same place. I'm not going to make it. I'm. A... You can do it. I think. I think. I think it would have been better for taking a shotgun instead of the Magnum. Well, taking a shotgun or or a submachine gun. Uh, well, at least got that Kurt story done. Yeah, you told it now. Yeah. Lucky me. <laughs> the thing is, that, that bit there, though, with that, with that boss fight, that was the end of the level. If it killed, that would have been it. Yeah, you were close to killing her as well. Yeah. You only had a bit, you only had a bit of health left. You can do it. Yeah. Games. Wicked, wicked. Chase is massive. Alright, so this is the part where the. Where the, uh, the uh, the, the chimera shows up, the, well, the giant knit. He's oh, like, oh, a giant knit, mate. I can pause it now, because it's not, it's not showing the, 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 the prompt. So I basically have to, I have to, OMG. West is like, man, motherfucker. And then another one shows up. From, I think that's where he came, where West came from. Bang, bang, motherfucker. I love West because swear more. I don't I'm think he needs to. He's not, he's not enough badass. I don't, I don't think he ever swears, actually. Do they, do they swear in this? Uh, yeah, actually, believe it or not, the first character to swear in the games was Jill. Oh, God. In the remake, because uh, it was actually this funny thing where... Uh, you know how I mentioned how the uh, the radio like, doesn't work? Mm. Well... Uh, slimy, got the grenades. But basically, uh, Jill... Uh, not this time, bitch. Oh, shit, he got me. Can't be smoked now, can I? So basically, what happened was, um, so Jill tries to con. Jill can hear the uh, the uh, pilot over the radio, hmm. so she uh, so she tries to get in contact with him, but he can't hear her. And so her and, and so her reaction is, uh, she she just looks at the radio and goes, shit. <laughs> and then later on, uh, she can hear him again, so she tries to contact him again, shit. <laughs> she just says it two times, and it's fucking hilarious. Uh, and, they, and they actually added the word "fuck" to the series repertoire in Resident Evil Five, where a helicopter pilot says it as he's been as he's been taken down. Um, he goes, "What the fuck are those?" As he's as he's been shot down, and then by Resi Six, uh, one of the main characters, Jake, is just saying "fuck" every other every other sentence. <clears throat> so that's the evolution of the swearing in Resident Evil. Would you say this is your favourite game then? What? Overall, well, Resident Evil, uh, yeah, Resident Evil in general. No, the same favourites between Devil May Cry and uh, Metal Gear Solid. Oh, okay. But Resident Evil's definitely up there. Top five. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to uh, Revelations too. Mm. Um, yeah, I, 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 I really, I, apparently, I, so they, they did a side mode. Do you know the Mercenaries mode? Yeah. In five and six, they had a similar mode in Revelations, yeah, but right. you're going through areas of the game. With like basically trying to get to the end and like kill off a load of enemies, and it's a really cool mode. And uh, so you basically, you can go through the entire game, pretty much every, every section of the game with any character. They're doing something like they're doing a similar mode. I think it's the same mode actually in Revelations 2. Just that they, they're going to have a, a bunch. Just that they're actually having a, uh, a pre-ordered DLC um, uh, set of missions based on areas from the previous games. So it'll probably be levels based on Resident Evil 1. Oh right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the question is then, what characters are going to be included? Because we know we know Chris's sister Claire is going to be in it. We know that um, Barry's daughter Moira is going to be in it. I think they're trying to set up like a next generation thing because because like you have like Jake and Sherry who are next generation characters. So I think that's what they're trying to set up. This is the bit in it last time. This is the, the boss. Yes. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Fuck off, bitch. Nice one. <laughs> Just grenades. <laughs> not even you, Lisa. Yeah. Get up from that, Lisa. You're not going to. Yeah. Be yourself. Lisa actually, um, 
in, in one possible scenario, and Res took all that damage. Uh, at least in one of the possible scenarios for um, uh, the Resident Evil remake, actually can kill Barry. Oh, is she getting up then? Yeah, Bas she's basically unkillable. Hmm. So the entire the entire Wesker portion of this story is just built around. Let's fight Lisa. Kill her. Worst scenario, Rebirth, Chapter 2. Yeah, mate. So you can play that one now? Yep. Yeah. So we can do that episode, that, well, that, that level. Mm. And then after that, the entire mansion is going to be out of the way. We can move on to Raccoon's Destruction. Which is kind of a massive spoiler, but <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> the game spoiled it, not me. I didn't do anything. Well... Because you're doing that one on your own anyway, aren't you? So, well, this, this level. Yeah. yeah. So I probably won't be here for the next time you record that, will you? Will I? So, record what? That one, the the, res the Wesker number two one. We're not going to record it now? Oh, it. oh, oh, actually, you need to get going, don't you? Yeah. But you have, you, we can record that on your own, can't you? Because you, I'm not with you, so... Uh, I guess you could. So let's put off releasing it. Well, it's, it's a... It's going to take a while to get all this up, up, uploaded anyway. Oh, yeah. Good point. So, Good point. we might get a chance to record before then. So, we'll, 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 we'll see how it goes. Like, don't worry, people. Burn's not going anywhere. You might just have to I'll wait. Back. You might just have to wait to find out the fate of Albert Wesker. Did he escape the mansion? Or was he blown to smithereens? You can probably guess what happened, but you don't know for a fact. You have to tune in like next time and find out whenever next time is. Hopefully soon. Yeah. That's all I can say. Yeah, and hopefully I won't have to postpone part one to upload that then. I don't I don't think you will have to. Even if it means me coming round for a quick half an hour while you do it. But you you would do that for me? Yes, I would. Because I'm that good of a guy. I love you, Bern. I love you too. I just rubbed his shoulder. No homo. No, no homo. No homo. <laughs> <laughs> it's also a bit kind of silly saying, I just rubbed his shoulder because you can't see. Mm. Because it don't matter if they can't see because you just told him what happened. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I think I'm going a bit... <laughs> I, stroke, I stroked his leg. <laughs> <laughs> like Leto. Yeah, Leto. Yeah, who, who alleged, who, 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 he allegedly got touched once on the thigh and came immediately. Yeah. Because <laughs> then he dressed his girlfriend up as Peach. Princess Peach, yeah. It's, it's weird that he ever had a girlfriend. Because he was... He, cause he, I, 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 that bit in uh, Albert Chronicles where he gets um, fucking destroyed for uh, <laughs> dancing in the rain... He was <laughs> dancing in the rain once. <laughs> I remember you telling me about that. Yeah, and then, then the dinner ladies like had a go at him and sent him inside. It's like, get fucking get inside. Stop dancing in the rain, you pillock. It's like, ha ha, Bella. And he was like, ha ha, me bird's peach, mate. Like, Pikachu, I choose you to s s take up this this evil scyther. And it's like, and Pikachu's like, fuck off, mate. I'm not even real. <laughs> Like, you not fucking leave me alone for once in your miserable life, you fat cunt. And Leto's like... <laughs> and comes. Because <laughs> I'm not going to say a name, but she touched his leg. I'm not going to say it, I don't know why. I'm yeah, I, I don't even know who it was, but someone touched his leg and he apparently jizzed immediately. Mm. He appa apparently once sat, uh, sat in his shorts um, in, the, in the changing rooms after PA, and apparently one could see his, quote... Porky little wiener. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, skulls. Oh, right. Yeah, he, he's like, you know, porky little wiener. I'm like, that is fucking brilliant. <laughs> How come we always go on after the video, by the way? I don't know. We've actually been doing pretty well about not doing that for yeah. the last few episodes. And we've done it today on our last one. Yeah. You don't want me to go in it. You're just keeping the conversation. Yeah, on. we're like five episodes. Then we get to this one. It's like, oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. It's going too long. We've actually done quite well today, haven't we, recording-wise? We've yeah, got a lot of videos done. Yep. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, yeah. Of this, plus the Elder Chronicles one. Yeah, seven. See so yeah, how much you can get do done when you, when you spend an afternoon here. Eh? Mm, exactly. Yeah. How much time do you spend here? Next time, you, next time your bird wants to hang out with you, say, no, I'm <laughs> going around my mates to record some Umbrella Chronicles, and to go like, along, and Elder Chronicles too, which I just realised, two Chronicles. And she'd be like, what? What even is that? Like, I'm not explaining it. You'll have to watch show it. Her. Yeah, show her it. I mean, it does you. Oh, I, I, she's seen some of the stuff we've done. Has she? She's seen the Banjo Kazoo one. Oh, what she think? <laughs> she just started laughing, saying, like, wow, how come you know so much? And I was like, used to play it as a kid. Oh, sh yeah, yeah, show her the Resident Evil stuff then. Yeah, she, she, I think she likes watching gaming stuff, so. Does she? She, she doesn't like playing it because she's scared of it. 
<laughs> she's scared of Resident Evil, but like, she doesn't mind watching it. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, sh- I'm sure with your soothing voice from the from the computer <laughs> and from real life, I think she'd be she'd be able to get through it okay. <laughs> but maybe, yeah, she'd probably panic about whilst playing it because she gets scared about stuff like that. But yeah, she likes watching. How it. she with spiders? Uh, hates them. Absolutely hates him. <laughs> That's going to be you a can, joy. You should see us when there's a spider in the room. We both just look at it like, well, we both don't want to go, so what are we going to do? <laughs> this is just hibernate for the night. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, funny. Yeah, we've been going on for like four minutes now. We should probably stop. <laughs> yeah, let's end it now. <laughs> yeah, see you next time. Yeah, see you next time. Bye. Fucking hell. <laughs>